Always count the blessing. Be grateful every day you wake up. Right. And can go and come back. Right. And say, I'm still saying. Right. We might say stuff by our physical, but this. Be thankful you're in your right mind. Because there's enough pressure in this world, and we see even more and more. So say, I'm still balanced. And Allah says, by the pen, Muhammad the prophet, no, by that which writes your life, and by the grace of your Lord. Allah says, be much new. There's a lot to be said about that word much new. Jinnah. Jin. Jinnah. All that comes from the same. It's just the mean one. But the jinn was mad, right? Iblis was a jinn. And where did he go mad at? In Jinnah. He was in the garden. And Allah said, make sajda. And he said, I don't make, I don't make sajda. The one you made from your, right, from mud. So that's a cook on itself. Makes known the gin. Meaning, you went mad. That's a whole cook on. And then it continues. Allah says, Well, in there, at the edge of the, oh, yes, Hayyadil Memnoon. But for you, Muhammad, and good believers, I have a never ending reward. All praise is due to Allah. Thank you. By the mercy of Allah, you haven't gone mad. And if you try to stick to the deen and try to be right, you're not perfect. You be sincere. Allah says, and he says it also, we say it in, in, in uh, other surahs, where Allah says, I have for you an unending reward. No end. And we read that. Uh, uh, I always recite that surah. Uh, to myself, but right now I can't think of it. But anyway, it says in there, believe no uh, un unending reward. Okay, there's several places. And then Allah says, All praise is due to Allah. And surely, Muhammad, we have beheld you on a on a mighty plane of character and creation. Mighty Muhammad the Prophet. You know this Adim? We say, Subhanahu wa ta'ala al Adim, right? Mighty. And we say, Salaf Allahu Adim. Surely Allah's truth is mighty. Even though you have him say, Surely Allah spoke the truth. It says, it says, Sadaqa, that's true. Salaf Allahu Adim. Surely Allah's truth is powerful. And Allah says, Muhammad, you're created on a mighty plane of character. And then in Surah uh, uh, 15, I think, Ayah 87, Allah said, He sent down Seth and Madania, the seven off repeated verse, uh, verses, and well, Al Quran, Al Quran, and the mighty Quran, Adin. And so Allah says, You're created on that. And Allah says, So we close. He said, Tuk siru, wa yuk siru. He said, you will see, and soon your enemies will see. And I don't have to read that yet. I can say what it is. Which of you is man? That's the next idea. Which of you have lost his mind? All praise is due to Allah. They're trying to drive Muhammad the prophet out of his mind. They're saying, they're saying, they're saying, they're saying, Mutala, Abu Mutala, what's wrong with your nephew? What's wrong with your grandson? He's much new. He's trying to make all the gods into one, right? You remember they had over 300 some odd idols, right? Muhammad the prophet teaching taught he, right? The oneness of Allah, right? Aha, aha, aha. Don't you know that is what made them decide to kill him? Because he was teaching the oneness of Allah for the first 10 years. They were, Kala, Kala, Ikhlas, Kala. That's the end of it. One God. Allah, Kala, Kala. Right? They got fed up because of getting momentum. And then they decided to kill him. Say, your nephew, he was our son, he grew up. He's going mad. And that's what 
they was accusing us. Oh, those Muslims, man, they out of it. Right? We went through that. And some still go through it, right? But in the early days in America, oh, uh, man, look. We got criticized just for not eating pork. They used to tease us. Assalamu alaikum, ham and bacon. And I'm talking my stuff, right? <laughs> that, believe me, that was big. How many people, culture wise, can be raised on something, and just because they believe in God, you raised on poor, right? Or you raised on something all your life, and you become a Muslim 50 years. And I'm talking about everything is good, a lot of sacrifices, but I'm going to say it like this. And I'm talking about something that tastes good, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have to go into that because this is too much. We was raised on something that tastes good to us. And when they criticize us, they say, boy, what do you mean ain't no pork? I raised you on that. And that's your mother. You mean well, right? <laughs> right? So sacrifice and things like that, right? So Allah says, soon... You will see, and soon they will see. Be patient, brothers and sisters, in all your situations. Allah said, soon you will see, and they will see who's really the madman, who's really wrong. And then Allah says, and Allah says this here, and Allah says, Inna rabbaka huwa atlamu, yeah. Allah says, Allah says, surely Allah knows who has gone astray, who's up the dog in, and Allah knows who's rightly guided. So, dear believers, be optimistic, be positive, keep your faith in Allah. Life will have its challenges, but you have faith in Allah. And Allah knows who will be guided right. Don't stress yourself because we know we already say, Allah says, Lakum dina kum ali yudin. Allah makes the Muslim. Reach out, do the dawah, but Allah knows what's in your heart, what's in your mind. Allah knows who's sincere. But know we will have challenges. And we always want to stay in Quran because it is Quran that inducted Muhammad the Prophet into the ranks of the Prophet. So, dear believers, we pray that Allah will accept our Juma today, accept our in the Salat, cleanse our hearts and our minds, that we had good intentions. Alhamdulillah, Rabbana Hatina Fidunya Hassanatani, Wafi Ekra Hassanatani, Wagina Hatina, Alhamdulillah, Rabbana Hatina.